Here is a test problem on solving equations. Equation is 2x times x minus 4 equals to x square minus 16. I'd like you to copy the question, solve it, and then look into my suggestions. Now solving equation really means to find a value of x which will satisfy this equality, right? So equation has an equal to sign. Find the value of x. If you place that value of x here, substitute that value of x, then both left side equals to right side. That will be called the solution of an equation. Let's try to use factoring techniques which we have learned to solve this equation, right? So the equation for us is 2x times x minus 4 equals to x square minus 16. Now we can factor x square minus 16 and write this as x plus 4 times x minus 4, right? I hope you remember this. This is difference of squares. So you can check, you can expand and check. You get the same thing, right? Now, next step is we, can br we should bring these terms together to the left side. Then we get 2x times x minus 4 minus x plus 4 times x minus 4 equals to 0. Right? Now, I've seen at this stage some of the students making a mistake. So what they do is when they're trying to solve the equation, they cancel out these terms. If they cancel this out and then bring this x plus 4 on this side and try to solve it after that, then they have already eliminated one of the solutions. As you can see from here, x equals to 4 is a solution. If I put x equals to 4, we get 0 on the left side and we get 0 on the right side also, right? A common factor in any equation leads to a solution, right? So this tells you that there is a solution which is x equals to 4, right? Which will make this happen, right? Equ equality will be proved. So at x equals to 4, left side will be equals to right side, right? So don't cross out or don't cancel or don't divide both sides by the same term. If you do so, you are eliminating one of the solutions, right? That is one of the most important mistakes which is being committed by students time and again. So avoid it, okay? Now at this stage, it's a good practice to take x minus 4 as a common factor, right? And then solve the rest of the equation. We'll take x minus 4 as a common factor and what remains on this side is 2x from the first term and from the next term we have x plus 4, right? x plus 4 equals to 0, right? That is what we get. Now we can just simplify the terms inside the brackets. We get x minus 4 and inside the bracket we have 2x minus x is x and minus times plus 4 is minus 4, right? So we get x minus 4 as our solution here, right? So, so that gives possibility of only one solution, which is x equals to 4. Now, you should equate both to 0, right? If you equate x minus 4 to 0, you get x equals to 4 as your solution. So this is the only solution for this particular equation, correct? To be true. So, so that is our solution. So remember one thing in this particular case or in such equations that at this stage do not cancel common factors. If you cancel them, you are eliminating one of the solutions. Here you were lucky since the, both the answers were same for us, correct? So you're kind of lucky. But normally you will cancel out the solution itself, right? Anyway, so for this, we get our answer, and the answer is x equals to 4, right? Thank you.